What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So with watchOS 9 that I have here on my Apple Watch Series 7, we did get quite a number of new features and new changes. And among those, we got a number of new watch faces. And this that you're seeing here is the Luna watch face now in case you're curious let me just show you some of those new watch faces that we got you can see we got the astronomy watch face we got the lunar watch face of course this is the video for that and a number of other new watch faces with watch os 9 and here on the channel at half men half tech i do explain these watch faces in detail what the different features and changes mean and how you can best utilize them and if that is something that you are interested in then a sub to the channel would definitely help us out now as you can see here i've set the lunar watch face as my current watch face and we're going to be deep diving into this watch face now as you can see i have my iphone here and if we go to the this is the apple watch app and if you open here and go to the face gallery and click on the lunar watch face you basically get a brief description of what this watch face is and what it tries to accomplish and according to apple this lunar calendar or lunar watch face is used to observe traditional holidays and special events in many cultures and it celebrates this 1000 year old practice with support for three calendars that is the chinese islamic and hebrew calendars so let's quickly deep dive into it here on the apple watch and see what we can see using this calendar so the first thing that i would like to show you here is when you hold on it and you click edit you will see that you have the calendar mode that you can choose so the first one that's loaded is the chinese and then if you go down a little bit you have the hebrew and if you go down again you have the islamic calendar so we'll start with the top one first and then just to show you some of the things that you can edit you can edit the time style whether you want analog or you can choose digital for the purposes of this watch face while i've been experimenting and using it i noticed that it looks and works better using the analog style so i would recommend this if you want you know your watch face to look a bit better and then you can also select the color and i noticed that this is the color of the second arm and you can see when you change colors you also have the option to add more colors but you see as you change color it's actually the second arm the thinniest arm that's changing and once you have a, an arm that you like you just go on to the next section which is the complications now these are unfortunately corner complications but it explains and looks better with this watch face because you know when you have corner complications there are some complications that you won't be able to select because of the placement and you can see that the selection is sort of limited but keep that in mind you can always customize this according to your need so let's quickly dive into the chinese calendar and explain what we see with this calendar now we we'll select it like this and what you can see right from the get-go you can see the current time the current time is always going to be dependent on your region so where i am right now this is the current time you can sort of see it it's about uh almost 10 minutes to 6 p.m so you can see it there and then you will see the current month so today using the common era calendar or the gregorian calendar that we all used to you can see that it's june 17 2022 and now what you see below our common era calendar you see the chinese month and day so according to the chinese calendar today it's actually the fifth month and the 19th day and you can basically see the moon phases what i notice here on the moon phases you can see that the current date is actually uh, highlighted in white while the rest of the dates are grayed out so that's how you can quickly glance at your current date and you can see just below that the moon phase that uh, corresponds to the to that current fifth month 19th day you on the chinese calendar so what i notice also here on this calendar is that you can see that we have like a lighter portion of the moon 
it's depicted by you know what you are seeing below the days or the numbers so that is the moon phases right and you can see the phase changes depending on the sun or the reflection of the sun and you can see that starting basically from the let's say the 20th going back to about the 11th you have like a lighter moon and from the 21st going forward you have a darker moon now if you click on your apple watch like this and you move your crown up or down you will see that you can actually transition between the moon phases and that's how you change the date forward and back and you can see that when we are for example on the uh, 19th which is today you see that we are on the lighter portion just below the date of the moon but the, our actual moon here looks dark that's just goes to show that this lighter portion depicts like the darker portion of the moon when you are looking at your big moon icon here and the darker portion just below the numbers is basically the lighter portion so what i mean by this if you move your date forward or go into the future you notice that the moon starts to get uh, brighter however just below the numbers it's the darker portion where we are and if we continue forward you notice once we get into the lighter portion uh, you will see that the moon gets darker so that just depicts you know when the sun is face when the moon is uh has the greatest reflection or when it's basically dark now that's something that you might it takes a while to get used to okay now just to explain this chinese calendar since we know what the moon phases look like and that this is basically an expansion or uh, it zooms into the current moon phase and you can change it like this we want to look into how this um fifth month 19th day comes about so we know that june is actually the sixth month in our common era calendar or in our gregorian calendar june is the like the middle of the year right it's uh the sixth month but it says fifth month and here on my iphone i actually did get a picture that can sort of explain this to us in a better sense and just to show us this better let me twist my iphone this way to hide the notch and you will see here uh the month numbers that you can see you have one all the way to 12 and obviously the chinese calendar being lunisolar is based on astronomy observation between the sun and the moon so you will see that you know the fifth month on the chinese calendar is somewhere between uh, may 21st to june 21st and you can see that here on our calendar here we are on june 17 which puts us in that range of the fifth month when you are looking at a chinese calendar so that's how it comes about and let's say for example if the date was like june 22 then our month here would increment to the sixth month so that's how you can sort of see it and this is just by an explanation using the chinese calendar it has 12 months and if you want to for example see the chinese new year you would have to go to the uh, first month first day and i know that by head because i know this year the first new year or the chinese new year was actually on uh, february so if i go all the way to back in time to uh, february i should be able to see um the chinese new year and i'll be able to see here that first month first day was february 1st 2022 so that's when the chinese new year was according to our common era it was february 1st 2022 or in the chinese calendar first month first day and you can see the moon phase at that time and uh, if you want to go to the next day you can actually go like this and you'll be able to see how the moon phase changes and when you click on your crown actually you get an uh, you get like um, sort of a display seeing the moon go back to the current date and time so that is using the chinese calendar next we are going to be explaining the next calendar which we can edit here and go to the hebrew calendar so this 
is the hebrew calendar that you are seeing here and basically it is also used by communities to determine religious observations and also something that uh, this calendar is used for is for different rituals and in different countries it is used to determine agricultural and seasonal as well as civil purposes so it does have quite a number of uh, uses and uh, just to show you here you can see that using our current calendar here let me take my pen to sort of highlight you can see in our common era calendar today is june 17 2022 but in the hebrew calendar the actual month that corresponds to june 17 and they is Sivan 18. Now, pronunciation isn't my greatest ability, so please do forgive me if I pronounced it long. So it's Sivan. And just to show you the moon phase, you can see how the moon phase was basically, and uh, that corresponds to that date. And if you want to see how this corresponds to, I do have another picture, and you can see here basically the um, Hebrew calendar or months and you will see that uh, you have Nisan as the first month and you have uh, Ada hopefully I'm saying it right as the last month so this is the Hebrew months or these are the Hebrew months that you see in the outer line and you can see that today or rather the month i'm in here being june june corresponds to like mid sivan to early tam tamuz hopefully i'm saying it right so you can see that june is somewhere between mid sivan to early tamuz and if we look at our apple watch here you get to see the exact day on the hebrew calendar and you see the month there so it's really good to determine and it's used by different cultures and for civil purposes now the next calendar that i want to explain to you here on our lunar watch face if you go to edit and go to the last month here you'll be able to see that we do have the islamic calendar now this islamic calendar is also known as lunar hygiri forgive me if i'm saying it wrong so lunar hygiri and it's based on the time it takes the moon to orbit the earth so this is actually based on the time that the moon takes to orbit the earth while our common era calendar is used on the time it takes the earth to rotate or go around the sun so the gregorian or common era calendar uses the uh, sun as a reference but this one uses the moon as a reference or how long it takes the moon to orbit the earth and like the other calendars that we've mentioned this has 12 months as well and it's used to determine like proper days of religious holidays and in countries and regions where Islam is used as the main religion, it is used as the main religious calendar. And you can see basically that uh, the moon phase is more or less the same. You can also do the same thing, move back and forth and change the time. And you'll be able to see the current um, Islamic month or month that uh, corresponds to our current common era or Gregorian uh, calendar being june 17 2022 is uh quilida 17 hopefully i'm saying it correct and just to show you where this comes from you can see here on this page that i have that the month if you look at number 11 this being number 11 you'll be able to see the month and it actually does have a meaning and it means the one of truce or sitting and this is basically a holy month during which war is banned so these months do have meanings and like i mentioned you can sort of see you know what number of month it is from here just by looking at the left hand section and you can see the name of the month and in arabic this is how it's spelled and the meaning of it as well as like some keynotes that are associated to that now this is how it does look on the lunar watch face for people that are from you know different regions that are 
into different societies and use these calendars this is something that's amazing you can always set it to the calendar that works for you or for your preference be it islamic or if it's chinese or hebrew you can always set it and you remember and be able to see what is common or current and also what is actually the religious or the lunar calendar that is used to reference to our common month and day and do let me know if i left anything out about this watch face and yeah this is the lunar watch face on watch os 9 at half man half tech if that's something that you enjoyed and you want to see something more then definitely do subscribe and i will be having a lot of watch face content coming for you soon so stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace